Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at ISACAM policies. We'll be discussing the default ISACAM policies, syntax to configure a new ISACAM policy, ISACAM policy configuration, and finally, pre shared key configuration. This episode is part of my series on network security. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. The Cisco IOS comes with default ISACAM policies already in place. To view these default policies, enter the show crypto ISACAM default policy command. So go ahead and enter that in, and then it's going to list, list out all of your default default um, ISACAM policies. On our router, when we type in here our show crypto ISACAM decamp or default policies, you're going to list out all of our default policies. This router has seven default ISACAM policies ranging from the most secure at 65507. So this one right here, this is the most secure. Going all the way down through here to the least secure policy of 65514. So this is the least secure policy over here. These are all the default policies. If no other policy has been defined by the administrator, R1 is going to, it will attempt to use the most secure default policy. Once again, 65507, that was the secure one. So it's going to attempt to use that one. If R2, so on the other router, if R2 has a matching policy, then R1 and R2 can successfully negotiate that IKE phase one ISACAM tunnel without any configuration by the administrator. None of these default policies match the security policy we're looking to build our VPN for. What we have to do is a new ISACAM policy will have to be configured. To configure a new ISACAM policy, use the command here, crypto ISOCAM policy, and if you put a question mark, it'll give you the range that you can give these numbers. So we can use the range of one to 1,000. That's the only argument for this command. Right here, what we're going to do is we're going to create policy one. So it's crypto ISO camp policy one. Here's we'll attempt to negotiate using the policy with the lowest number. And once again, remember the lowest number signifies the highest priority. When in ISO camp, policy configuration mode, the security associations for the IKE phase one tunnel can be configured. Now there's a mnemonic that helps us to remember the five security associations to configure. That, that mnemonic here is Haggle, H-A-G-L-E. Now, if we do, if we go into our, our ISACAM model here, so crypto ISOCAM policy one, and we type in a question mark, we can see all the commands that are available. And using our mnemonic, we can see that there's a hash. So we have to set up the hash. Typically we do that first. Then we do authentication. Then we specify our Diffie-Hellman group with the keyword of group. Then we look at the lifetime. We set our lifetime. And then finally we do our encryption. So that's where we get the H-A-G-L-E, the haggle from. To meet the security policy requirements of our company, we have to configure ISACAMP once again with the following security associations. The hash is SHA, the authentication is a pre-shared key. We're gonna use the group here, the Diffie-Hellman group of 14. We're gonna set up our lifetime of 3,600 seconds. And then finally, we're gonna do our encryption of AES. Now, what we get rid of now, from global configuration mode, we go into our crypto policy. So crypto ISOCAMP policy one. Notice how our prompt has changed. Configuration our ISOCAMP. Remembering our mnemonic. Our mnemonic was H-A-G-L-E, Hagel. We can go ahead and start entering in our security policy requirements. So H was our, is our hash. So the first one we're entering in here is our hash is SHA. Then we are, we're on our A in Hagel. Our authentication here, we're going to set up a pre-shared key. We'll do that here in a second. 
Once again, for our group, our Diffie-Hellman group, we're gonna use, oh, the requirement was 14. So we go ahead and we just put in 14 there. Now our lifetime here is set for 3,600. And once again, this is seconds here. So 3,600 seconds. And then finally, our last letter in our mnemonic is E for encryption. So we go ahead and set up our encryption of AES-256. Once we have in all of our security associations, we can go ahead and type in N. And then the command here, show crypto ISOCAM policy is gonna list out our ISOCAM policies. Here we can see that it has a priority of one. That was the number we set. And then we have all of our information here. And working through our mnemonic, we can say our hash algorithm. This is a secure hash standard, our SHA. Then we have A for authentication. We're doing a pre-shared key, which we're gonna set up in a second. So H-A-G. Our G here was our Diffie-Hellman group. Our security policy once again said we're doing 14. I apologize for that. So that was our group. Our L for lifetime says we're doing 3600 seconds. And finally, our encryption algorithm is AES, our advanced encryption standard. And we set it at 256 bits. The pre-shared key command syntax looks like this. From global configuration mode, that's what we're in right here. The syntax is we start off with the words crypto, isocamp, key. Then we say what our key string is here, basically our passphrase, and then either the address or host name. And so you can either use an IP address, which would be our peer address, or you can use the host name where you have some sort of name resolution on your network. Our corporation uses the key phrase Cisco 12345, and then the peer address of the peer. On R1 here, so we're on R1. We're gonna set up our crypto key map. This is our passphrase, Cisco12345. And then this is the IP address of our peer, the other device in our connection. Down here on R2, basically it's the same command, crypto isocamp. We use the same passphrase, but then we put the IP address of the other device. So this down here on R2, this IP address is for R1. When we did R1, the IP address was for R2. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on ISACAM policies. If you liked this episode and you got value out of it, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on network security for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on network security for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.